first operation here is to deburr my nickel silver blanks, which I have made locally uh, uh, by a water jet cutter. It, fortunately, you probably can't see it, but it leaves a burr that I have to remove. I have a kind of a scotch bright wheel on my bench grinder here, which works really well for this. Pardon this noise. The next step involves making a little mark here so that I know where I am. I have some marks on the edge of my bench here. Allow me to make a little mark on the edge there so I, am, I can get lined up on the next step. At this point, I uh, have my little, my mark, my punch set up in the arbor press. I drilled a hole for it here. And I line up that little mark I made and impress my little bore model Adam into the edge. Making that mark leaves a leaves the blank distorted so next I have to uh, flatten out flatten things back out. hardest part of this to bend since I do them by hand. In fact, I do them by hand around a ring mandrel. Is that that little bit right the ends? That, uh, that's the hardest thing to, to uh, bend. So, I cheat. I've got these little pliers with the curved jaw and I just grab them and I make a little bend and that saves me a whole lot of pain in the fingers later on say and I get my little ring mandrel and I put it in about the right place I don't know it's hard to get an angle that you can see this Let me try it this way hmm well let's do this so I'm trying to do this so that you can see what I'm up to. Anyway. I 
I swear, when I started making these almost 10 years ago, my hands were stronger. Getting to be an old man. I like to round over the, the nail end of these just a little. So I have a little tool for that. And a dapping block that I that shows you can see there's I hope a little bit of a just a little bit of a rolled edge there you can see this undercut here so that when I do this it uh, clears the edge of the of the pick. So for the next step, I have a tapered mandrel, and I tighten this up around it some. Do a little bit of extra bending on it, and then push it down until it's nice and tight on the mandrel for this next step. You can't see anything, can you? So after all that, and a little cleanup, that's what they look like. I am not going to give a demonstration because, well, one of the reasons I came up with these in the first place was because I couldn't play claw hammer worth a darn, because my, and I couldn't grow a fingernail to save my life. In fact, there's that that thumbnail. Well, that's pretty much what happens to my fingernails. That uh, that one is split all the time. Anyway, that's the finished product. Thanks for watching.